My name is Neil Malik from NAC Training, and today on Everyday Office, what I'd like to do is demonstrate a little animation technique I just tried out uh, for a new presentation I'm creating, and this is going to allow us to create a self-drawing square. So, just so you know, PowerPoint does not currently let us draw our own squares as it comes in, you know, kind of uh, the line growing as it goes, but using individual segments together with the wipe animation actually makes this completely feasible. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to zoom in on my slide a bit here and I'm just going to slide over here to the left. Okay, let's assume that these first three little bubbles over here on the left are all related to one another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a box drawn around these little circles and uh, then a little line that comes down and then whatever definition is down here is going to pop up. So the first thing I've got to do is go to my insert tab and it under shapes instead of inserting the box that would normally go around this thing I'm just going to go with individual lines. So I choose my individual line option here and I'm going to start right above the middle of the three bubbles and I'm as I'm clicking and dragging to the left I'm going to hold down shift to make sure that it's a flat line. And now I can use control D on the keyboard to duplicate this and then connect it over here to the right. Control D to duplicate it and make it here below. Like so. And control D to duplicate. Line that up. Good. And now to finish this off, I need vertical lines. So again, insert, shapes, make a line, and I'll just make a line that goes from there to there. Again, holding the shift key allows this to be a straight line. Control D duplicates that line. Make another one over here, and one more line down here. And I'll just stretch this out vertically a bit. Okay. And lastly, after the shapes, I'm going to go to insert, insert a new text box, and just put down here, um, let's say process improvement. Okay. And then I'll just line this up right underneath that line. And now what's left is animation. Now the process here is going to be for this line to grow to the left, then this line to grow down, then this line to grow to the right. All the while this line grows to the right, then down, then to the left, and then finally this one comes down. So I click onto my first shape, the line over here on the left hand side. Go to my animations pane. Go to my animations tab at the top of the screen and I do need the animation pane so I'm going to click on the animation pane button over here on the right just to make sure that I'm on top of all of this. Okay so this first line needs to wipe it coming in. I click on the wipe option and it doesn't look like much because the effect is set incorrectly. I use the effects drop down menu here and say from the right to the left. And as you can see, that makes the line grow to the left. Now let's go ahead and tighten up the animation. We don't want it to take half a second for that to be drawn across. Maybe 0.2 seconds. Now at this point, I have the animation appropriately on this strip right here. If I want to pick it up and do the same thing on the right hand side, let's go ahead and click the animation painter and then click on the second line. Now the problem is that it painted it as wipe to the from right to left. We want it to go from left to right. And we don't want it to be on click because I want this to draw at the same time as this. I want the start to be with previous. All right, so the first line draws from right to left. The second line draws from left to right at the same time. Then I need the verticals, click on the vertical line, choose wipe, have it wipe from top, 
down. And I don't want it to go on click, let's go with after previous. Notice what that'll do. So the two lines will draw out, and then once that's done, this one will go down from there after the previous. And I don't want it to take half a second. This is about half as long as the first line, so I want it to take about 0.1 seconds. And again, click on that line right there, choose the animation painter, and then paint it onto the other vertical line. So they go down at the same time. But I do want it to not be after previous, but rather with previous, because the vertical connector going down on the left and the vertical connector going down on the right should go down at the same time. Now let's keep on going. This line that goes across, I choose the wipe animation. I have it wipe from left to right. I don't have it start on click, but rather after the previous. And because it's the same length line as the other horizontal ones, we'll have it take 0.2 seconds. Again, click on the line, choose the animation painter, apply it to the line on the right, but have it apply from right to left and have it apply not after previous, but with previous. And home stretch here, vertical line going down. I need it to wipe going down from top to bottom. Not on click, but rather after previous and taking about 0.2 seconds. And let's go ahead and have this text box appear at the end of that whole process. So I'll just choose appear and have it appear after the previous. Whew, look at that. Okay, so now when I start the animation, I should be able to see two lines going left and right out from above that second dot, then down, then back in, then down, and then finally the text popping up. There it is, your self-drawing box. Let's try it one more time. From the top of the second dot, going out in both directions, then down, then back in, then down, and the last one popping up. Pretty nice, right?